What up guys, Savvy Echo here, and welcome back to the sesh. Today we're doing an unboxing review of the Walmart exclusive uh, Teen Titans Go that they released a couple days ago, and uh, these things came pretty darn fast. Uh, pretty much went ahead and pre-opened it, just to avoid the hassle from doing this one-handed, but pretty much we got Cyborg and his uh, camo, green camo, and I also got one for for a couple of buddies of mine and uh, pretty much just to get the free shipping I got three cyborgs and the uh, grayscale uh, raven as well so uh, they all look like they came in pretty mint so that's always a good thing and they came pretty much well bubble wrapped so minimal damage so awesome job in Walmart's Park sometimes you get like really messed up boxes but anyway uh, there's cyborg and uh, raven and uh, just to show you a 360 box art. Pretty much they used the box from the original. But I'm pretty sure on the flaps from the bottom it says, uh, you know, Walmart exclusive cyborg. And you just got pretty much the uh, five originals that they released uh, a, a long time ago. And I have all of them except for Starfire and the uh, White Raven from Hot Topic exclusive. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and unbox these, and uh, we'll take a closer look at the Pops. Cool. Alright guys, so here they are out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Cyborg first. Uh, pretty much it's the original pose, and uh, I'm digging the camo. It looks cool. Uh, paint job wise, I mean, there's a lot of scuffing and paint bleeds, and even there's like some sort of weird... Like, I don't know if that's chipped or what's going on, but uh might want to check your cyborgs out. See if it came out, you know, okay. But uh paint job, it's kind of a little bit messy and all over the place. So not too good of a job, for the, at least for this one. But uh, he looks dope. I really like the green color scheme for the other half of his face. And uh, it would have been cool if it, they could make maybe a, an action pose cyborg with his cannon, you know. Glow in the dark version, that would be sick for a future pop if they do ever do another cyborg. So I'm pretty sure they will. And uh, moving along to uh, Raven, uh, same thing as far as the paint job wise goes. Like it's a little off right here where the tiara is at. There's like some scuffs and all that. And uh, other than that, I mean, it's a grayscale version. They've already released uh, a regular Raven. I have that whole set as well. So. Pretty much for the back, that would be the difference. Since this is the original Cyborg, you know, they show the original Titans. And this is the wave they release later. They have them um, when they're in their uh, Justice League costumes, pretty much. But uh, overall, pretty cool pop. I always like the grayscale pops. Uh, I am planning to do, a, you know, sort of a black and white collection soon. I have several of them already. But uh, paint job wise on uh, Raven's costume, that's pretty much on point. There's the. Uh, no paint bleeds or scuffing there. Just the, like I said, the tiara. But uh, it's always cool. I like collecting the grayscale ones. And like I said, Cyborg just looks always badass. And uh, hopefully they change it up a little bit in the future. But that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. Like I said, uh, if you did get your order in, mine's came in in like two days. It was really fast. It was here by Friday. I think I ordered it. They went live on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, just check the Cyborgs. Maybe. If there's like a chipping or something, maybe he could, uh, get him replaced or something, you know, return it, get another one. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you can pick these up. They come in pretty uh, safely. There are a couple of, uh, like, dings here and there on the boxes, but nothing too crazy. But uh, cool. Thanks for sticking around. Latest.